اللہم صل علی محمد و علی محمد کما صلی اللہ علیہ ابراہیم و علی ابراہیم ان کامد مجید اللہ مبارک علی محمد و علی محمد کما بارک تعالی ابراہیم و علی ابراہیم ان کامد مجید امام صاحب says that uh, we continue with the series of درس of حدیث in the blessed month of Ramadan Here, Imam Sahib says that it is important to note that we have not chosen hadith uh, to do with just one subject. We have uh, combined traditions on various issues and various matters. So we have acquired, by the grace of God, a very comprehensive uh, collection of hadith. In today's hadith, Dars uh, as well, Imam Sahib wishes to present the first tradition which the Holy Prophet, may peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, stated, طَلَبُوا كَسْبُ الْحَلَالِ فَرِيزَةٌ بَعَادَ الْفَرِيزَةٌ بَعَادَ الْفَرِيزَةٌ This has been taken from the book called Shob al-Iman or the chapter called Shob al-Iman. Imam Sahib says that just as I have said that uh, we have got, we are looking at the traditions on various subjects and here, a matter has been reminded to us which has to do with every person in one way or another. Every man, in order to live his life, he must earn some money, do some work, as a result of which he has some earnings, some he has some income. And so in this tradition, we have been reminded that the talabu kasbul halali farizatun, that uh, it is an obligation on every believer and this is something which is uh, one of the things that uh, people that Allah expects of people expects of a believer that he should always use kasbi halal kasbi halal means that whatever kind of work somebody does whether he's an officer or a subordinate uh, or a labor, laborer or something, any kind of responsibility that is given to someone, he should fulfill that and he should make his earning uh, in a legitimate way. So the tra- translation of this tradition is that after offering the um, rights of Allah, uh, the, the next thing that is obligatory on a believer are to have uh, to earn uh, um, earnings through honest means so this is the biggest the uh, main um, rights sorry the main obligation on a believer so the so which which is that we should offer the rights of allah that are um, uh, compulsory on us to perform such as salat etc and then secondly uh, second to that, uh, one should um, perform such, uh, one should earn such money which is halal. So we should not uh, do, we should not do any kind of work which has to do with, for example, pork or uh, wine, etc., um, which are uh, which are not halal, which are haram. Then, uh, if there is any work. Uh, which is in reference to any of these these things or to work hard or to accept any responsibility which is not uh, correct, which is not allowed, then this is we have been stopped from doing this. So for a believer, it's very important that he should uh, uh, he should um, take on such responsibilities or such work which are uh, which uh, have halal um only with through halal means so only halal things he should be dealing with so this is second only to uh, to the perform the rights of allah upon us so allah has uh, given this to um, to earn an honest living allah has made this so obligatory so the the main obligation we have is to uh, of to fulfill the rights of Allah and then second to that the which is the next stage is to uh, earn an honest living and this should be just uh, should be um through legitimate means always 
So it is easy to understand the subject of this topic that just as in other aspects of life, it is uh, an obligation on us to earn a legitimate living and to uh, feed our children earnings or, or with earnings that have been acquired through legitimate means. And this is as important as um, uh, performing other obligations such as Salat, reading, reciting uh, the Holy Quran and fasting, etc. So, so this, it is just as important as, as this. Imam Saf said this is important in the Western countries and we should uh, try to remember this uh, hadith because sometimes people can become confused and people may think that if there is a, sm a tiny little uh, unacceptable thing in uh, in any form of earning then is that allowed or not allowed so this um, hadith tells them that you should always try to acquire a, a legitimate means of uh, earnings if there is any, even the smallest bit of um, uh, uh, dealings with anything which is illegitimate, then it is it ruins the whole earning, and this this rem reminds us how important it is to earn an honest living. And if uh, Imam Sahib says that uh, if somebody tries to earn the uh, money dishonestly, and then he feeds his children and his his uh, family etc with the same uh, with the, with the um, uh, with those illegitimate means then this will ruin their uh, lives as well their faiths as well so <clears throat> so in order for children to be protected from worldly evils and to create a pure environment in the homes one should strictly adhere to the, uh, the a principle that has been taught in this tradition we should always keep this advice in mind and act according to this. The next tradition has also got a relationship with the previous one. And the words of this tradition are Da ma yuribuka ila ma la yuribuka that you should abandon those matters which cause perturbation and uh, doubt. And you should abandon that and and because fainna sitka tamaninatan fainal kaziba ribatun because uh, truth creates um, calmness and contentment and uh, da, uh, falsehood creates perturbation and agitation this is taken from the book of traditions called dirmizi and the uh, subject mentioned here is that while you you're doing anything whether it's to do with um, uh, dealing with someone or whether uh, it is to do with a job or if uh, one has to take some house on rent, etc., or giving a, uh, one gives the house on rent, all of such matters we should always keep well away from such situations where something is not clear, which can create a doubt and, and, it, uh, and it causes anxiety and disquiet. So such things one should always abandon. So this is extremely important. And this is why the Holy Prophet ﷺ has said that abandon that which leads to perturbation and doubt and instead adopt that which is uh, true because uh, tr uh, truth gives you uh, contentment and peace and uh, falsehood could, can um, lead to um, perturbation and anxiety and so this is this should be our um, uh, the standard of our uh, actions and the whatever um, situation we are in our lives <clears throat> we should keep away from things which are doubtful this is a, a weakness that somebody feels that something is uh, uh, is is one knows something is false but one still does not try to evade that um so uh so if if there is even a, a tiny bit of falsehood in something it ruins everything so this should be remembered and um uh, we should delve deeply and intently into this uh, uh hadith 
and we should always remember it and in in every matter in in our dealings with people when we speak to someone and whatever business etc that we uh, engage in <clears throat> we should always remember that if something has any confusion and any doubt and it seems as if it might be wrong um one feels that this has uh, has an element of falsehood in it then in that case people should keep away from that and one should always adopt the truth one should always stay firm upon the truth because this will create a contentment and calmness in your mind and uh, and we should always try to keep away from those things that create anxiety within our hearts may allah always enable us to uh, to enjoy and grant us the, sorry may allah always grant us the capacity to act in accordance with this tradition and we should always enjoin others about the blessings of speaking the truth and being honest as well